Perhaps the most iconic of all the planets in our solar system, Saturn is unique among the planets. Saturn's rings make it arguably the most photogenic planet in our solar system. It has the most spectacular ring system, with seven rings and several gaps in between them. These rings are about 400,000 kilometers wide, which is about the same distance as Earth from the Moon. The rings of Saturn are made of countless tiny particles of ice and rock. This rings form a giant cluster that circles around the planet's central sphere. If you feel like Earth is too plain, compared to some of its flashier neighbors, like Saturn, then there may be a good news for you. According to Professor Jake Abbott, Earth is on the course to have its own rings. But they might not be as flashy as Saturn's, as they will be just made from trash. We've got a huge space junk problem. Before we continue further, be sure to subscribe to our channel. That way you won't miss any of our weekly videos. It's only going to get worse as more and more companies and governments launch satellites, spacecraft, probes, and even tourists into space. While most of what we send into the orbit ends up getting sucked back into the Earth's atmosphere and burn up. But some of it still remains until we figure out a way to clean it. With companies like SpaceX launching their own massive constellations of broadband beaming satellites, our planet's orbit is busier than ever. That means we are also at a greater risk of knock-on collision events that could result in even more, smaller pieces of space junk. According to the European Space Agency, there are 170 million pieces of space junk in the orbit around the Earth. Most of them are quite small, but 23,000 of those are larger than a softball and concerning enough to be tracked by the Department of Defense. These space junk can endanger space flights, orbital missions, and even astronauts. Some space junk even crashes into Earth. Usually, it breaks up in the atmosphere, but not always. It is estimated that about 200 to 400 pieces of debris crashes into Earth each year. Earlier this year, a portion of a Falcon 9 launch vehicle made an uncontrolled re-entry and lit up the night sky. A five-foot section of the vehicle survived re-entry, landing on a farm in Washington state. Space junk is considered a type of pollution that has grown dramatically since 1957. We have 7,500 metric tons of junk in the orbit. This is an equivalent of about 1,100 elephants floating over our heads. The size of this junk is projected to grow exponentially unless we do something about it. The bad news is, most of this junk is spinning. So even if we reach out to stop it with a robotic arm, then you might end up breaking the arm and create even more debris. Now, scientists are trying to figure out how to get junk out of space. One way to swoop up space junk could be using magnets. By spinning up a magnet at the end of a robotic arm, you can create a special type of electrical current called eddies. You can use controlled force and torque to slow the objects that are spinning so they can eventually be moved and collected. Using this process, individual pieces of space junk could be controlled and slowed down. If this works, they could provide a means of moving space junk without directly touching it. If engineered properly, this would be the world's first tractor beam. This technology can be used one day to make robots move space junk into a decaying orbit without even having to physically touch it.